to another Teacher's Corner playthrough. Uh, this episode will be playing um, the new one of the new featured episodes, uh, Measure of Morality Part 1. I am told by friends who have played both episodes that this episode, Part 1, has some major spoiler um, spoilers for Season 2 of Star Trek Discovery. If you plan on watching Season 2 of Star Trek Discovery and have not finished it yet, then I suggest you finish it before you play this episode. Um, second, I am still sick, which is why I haven't recorded in a while from the time this was posted. Um, so if I stop mid-sentence or pause or something, it is to accommodate a coughing fit. So please bear with me in that respect. But without any further ado, the measure of morality. The long-range sensor arrays in the trailer system went offline recently. Last thing they picked up before that happened was a Borg scout ship. I'm heading to Trellis now to investigate. If this is the beginning of a new Borg incursion, I could use some backup. Meet me there as soon as you can. Okay, so we are to go to the Trellis system in the Beta Quadrant and investigate the anomaly. Mission is single player only at this time. The time of this playing, however, um, Gecko has said it will become two player multiplayer where you can play with one friend uh, soon TM. For playing this we get a bunch of expertise and experience. Um, daily event progress if you're playing it during the uh, 2020 anniversary event. Some dilithium ore and a phaser and a kit module Delphic puddle. Alright, without any further ado, here we go. And because it's free, I am trends warping there. Because reasons. Notice they've given Seven the new um, look that she has during Picard. Alright, begin the measure of morality, part one. Thanks for coming. Been a while. You look well. Considering what I hear about your exploits, that's an impressive feat. Back to business. Spotting a Borg scout here made a lot of people nervous, and with good reason. I can imagine. So, some old friends called in a favor, and here I am. I came here looking for Borg, but the real problem turned out to be sabotage. Orion smugglers fouled up the long-range array, but they left the short-range sensors intact. I have plenty of evidence from the sensor logs to turn over to Alliance officials. And the Borg? Still a concern. If they're sizing up this quadrant as an incursion zone, we need to know about it. I have a few ideas on upgrading the sensor arrays, making them harder to disable and better at spotting Borg. Beam me over and we can sort out the details. Very well. Stand by for transport. Beam over seven. With your assistance, I can complete the modifications quickly. Okay, perform satellite updates. Look like looks like we're moving forward. Good. Now that we have a working array, our next step will be initiating the new security protocols. Hold on. Are you seeing this? The long range sensors just lit up like a Davo table. Analysis? Reading a massive energy surge. We're being scanned. Something's overriding all our control systems, attempting to bypass. Shields up, brace for impact. Okay. All right, where is it? Where is it? Whoa. Well, something knocked us off course. Oh, 
Oh, that was unpleasant. Still, there are no damage reports, no casualties. Where are we? Scanning. Hmm. This is unexpected. Care to enlighten us? According to Astrometrics, we were catapulted several hundred light years from Trellis to the Excalbia system. Excalbia? Seem to recall a few space legends about this place. There's some facts to go along with those legends. In the 23rd century, Excalbians abducted the USS Enterprise and subjected some of her crew to a series of combats. Some sort of morality test. I don't like the look of this. Is it possible we're here for the same reasons? Feels that way to me. I doubt they dragged us all the way out here to have a wreck to Gino and talk about baseball. There's one way to find out for sure. Hail them and see what they want. Lots of atmospheric interference on Excalbia. We can't establish comms. I can boost the signal once the ship is in a standard orbit. Assuming the Excalbians are in a talking mood, we should have answer soon. Agreed. Helm, take us into standard orbit over Excalbia. Alright, let's get into orbit. And we're boosting. We are receiving your signal. On behalf of the Excalbian people, I bid you welcome. Forgive me, sir. I wasn't expecting to speak with Abraham Lincoln. Yes, I suppose that would be a bit of a surprise. You'll pardon me for that, I hope. Some time ago, I met and fought beside one of your own, Captain James Kirk. Under the circumstances, we felt seeing a familiar face would make this meeting go a little smoother. I see. Why are we here, Mr. President? That is a complicated matter, I'm afraid. I think it would be easier to discuss it face to face. We prepared a meeting ground on the surface of Excalbia. It meets your needs for atmosphere and climate as I understand them. Will you join us there? We accept your gracious invitation, Mr. President. We'll beam down at once. I don't know. Nice throwback to the TOS era. What else do we got in store here? Welcome, friends. I do hope the local climate is to your liking. The climate's fine. It's our abduction that we have a problem with, friend. My apologies. It was not an action of my choosing, I can assure you. Whoa. What the hell? Your presence is required for a matter of great importance. Greater than conversations with dead presidents? Long ago, the two of us were involved in a study, if you will. An evaluation of two concepts, good and evil. The initial results were ultimately inconclusive. The debate has continued since that time. We now seek a final resolution. What does that have to do with us, exactly? You have been chosen as advocates for the concept of good. But you will not face it alone. Hello. And we have Looks like we Michael have a lot Martin. of work to do here. That's putting it mildly. Okay. Um. Yeah. Questions. I will attempt to clarify our intentions. We're listening. In this trial, you will be accompanied by associates that we have created for you. You will confront a variety of situations in opposition to evil forces. Your actions will be judged, as will those of your opponents. The prevailing concept will guide us as a people. 
we shall pursue the virtues of good, or the vices of evil. Why have you chosen violence as a means to evaluate the concepts? We find violent conflicts produce pure examples of good and evil. They provide the best results to evaluate and judge. And if we refuse to participate in this trial? Failure to participate will be seen as your endorsement of the supremacy of evil. The trial will then conclude with a judgment in favor of evil, and our subsequent pursuit of the concept as a guiding principle. Fight or evil wins by default. That's not much of a choice. The trial awaits you. Proceed through the portal behind me when you are prepared. Very well. Let's get this over with. I think we need to be cautious when dealing with the Excalbians. They're a lot like Q, minus a sense of humor. Fashion sense could use a little work, too. Indeed. Recommendations? For now, I say we play their game and stay in one piece. Look for opportunities to swing things in our favor. Our new teammate here might have some insight into the situation as well. Good point. Anything you'd like to add, Commander? Michael Burnham, of the USS Discovery. The Discovery. Crossfield class? Served with distinction. Reported missing in action. Judging by your uniforms, I'd say I'm in the future. The last thing I remember was preparing for battle with my crew. And the crew of the Enterprise. Since we're having this discussion, I'm guessing we won that fight. My apologies, my memory is a bit fuzzy. Possibly a side effect of whatever brought me here. Indeed. Welcome to 2411, Commander. Over 150 years. Fascinating. Right. I'll catch up later. Assuming we get through this trial in one piece. If it's 2411, that means they've moved it a year forward! Yay! Cont okay, so... Trial in one piece, continue. To address your original question, I wish I had all the answers. But I know as much as you do. Going through this trial will give us the chance to conduct some tests of our own. Learn more about them and the situation here. Agreed. Let's not keep the omnipotent beings waiting, then. Take heart, my friends. Yarnik has a forceful personality. But his voice is not the only one heard here. There are many ex-Calvians who would embrace virtues before vices. It's good to have allies. Well said. And as one of your allies here, I have a warning for you. The trials are drawn from your past experiences and records, but they will not be identical recreations. There will be alterations to test your responses and those of your opponents. Expect the unexpected. Thank you for the information. Drawn from our past experiences. Are they going to have us redoing all missions? Please, accompany me. What are we going to be doing? Okay. Alright, well, there's nothing else for it. Beyond that portal, the first trial awaits. Good luck, my friends. My tricorder showing a Class M tropical biome. By the look of things, this world is under attack. I'm reading a lot of weapons fired from several locations in the area. This is Brea 3. I've been here before. During this battle, in fact. This is a safe position for now, but that could change soon. We need to get to cover fast. I see a plaza ahead. Only casualties. Enemy forces may be in the area. Ready weapons and move out. This didn't happen long ago. Some of the bodies are still warm. When did this take place? Originally? I don't recognize the uniforms on these Vulcans. They aren't Vulcans. They're Romulans. Romulans? 
You're serious. Those are Romulans. This is a lot to take in. Romulans are an offshoot of Vulcans who led after who left after the time of awakening. The Romulans are I clearly have a lot of catching up to do. But the middle of a war zone isn't an ideal place for a history lesson. Agreed. These Romulans are Tal Shiar, members of a covert military intelligence force. Their list of enemies is long. Any number of them could be responsible for this attack. In this case, it's Riemann partisans. Examine the body. This one was killed by heavy plasma weapon. Strange. I'm also reading trace amounts of several exotic particles in the area. Anti-proton, tachyon. Whoever else was in this fight used some extremely advanced weapons. Sounds like Iconian weaponry. Makes sense. The Iconians were allies of the Tal Shiar at this time. They were probably fighting at their side. This may be one of the unexpected changes Lincoln warned us about. Iconians arriving here early. That's an unpleasant thought. Some kind of yep. constructs. They're using anti-proton weapons. Heralds. Not a good sign. Those were Iconians? Not quite. They were heralds. Harbingers of things to come. Heralds are augmented servants of the Iconians. They were used primarily as shock troops. We've encountered them before, but if they're here now, things are worse than expected. Continue. There's a tactical force field blocking our way. That looks like the emitter over there. Should be simple enough to destroy it. Let's take it out and move onward. Shiar and Heralds fighting Riemann combat squads. Wonderful. So, these Riemanns, they're on our side. Good to know. Yep, the Riemanns are on our side. Kill, kill, kill the Iconian. I would speak with you. Once now, Obisek wants to talk to me. Your timing is fortuitous, my old friend. My resistance forces are closing in on Hakiv's laboratory, but he has opened an Iconian gate. The Iconians have sent their minions to aid Hakiv, but all is not lost. We can still stop them. The lab Continue. is not far from here. If we can fight our way past the guards, we can put an end to all this and Hakiv. Yes, let's find and stop them and stop Hakiv. Or Obisek, do you know what's happening here with the Excalbians? Uh, Excalbians? No, Iconians. Hakiv has brought them here. They're putting up quite a fight. I'll need all the help I can get to stop him. Will you help us? I see. Yes. Let's find the end. Let's find and stop Hakiv. Looks like there's another tactical force field blocking the way. This Hakiv really doesn't want to be interrupted, does he? 
Delaying tactics. Let's find and destroy the shield emitter. Quickly. It may not be in an obvious place. Check the nearby buildings and rooftops. Good point. Spread out. Signal the group if you spot the emitter. Uh, great. More rooftops. I hate the, that part of this episode. Hakeev has holed up in the south like the cornered vermin he is. Once we're near his position, I can set up a jamming field to prevent him from beaming out. Then we can bring him to justice at last. You might be able to block transporters, Obasek, but I doubt you can block a functional Iconian gate. As long as that remains open, Hakeev will be able to escape. Deal with the gate first, then you can talk about justice all you want. Agreed. Let's shut that gate down. to go where to go this way maybe Directional thing. Let's go back to where I was. Okay, I was in here. No. I was here. If there's another field, Elbus, that's out. most likely where I need to go. Warfare as a trial of good versus evil. Curious. War is a lot of things, but good isn't one of them. Ah, Obersek. So good of you to join us today. I've dreamed of ridding the galaxy of your stench for some time. And now, 
with the Iconians at my side, that dream shall become a reality. This ends now, Hakim. No amount of Iconian or Tal Shiar scum will stop me. Blood calls for blood. We have bigger problems. The Iconian gate is still online, remember? Hakib can bring in Iconian reinforcements as long as it is. Then let's shut it down. Keep Hakib and his forces busy while we work, or this trial will end real soon. And not in our favor. Understood. You'll have the time you need, Commander. unexpected. Try this respawn thing. He has a stealth field. Spread out. Find him. He has a stealth field. You think you've stopped me? The Iconians already know. They know everything! I don't care. Blood calls for blood, Hakim. No, not like this. You're better than this. If you do this, it won't be justice. It'll be murder. You don't have to do this. He must pay for what he's... Ariane! <laughs> All right, what's the call? Help Obasek or catch Hakeev? Obasek's in bad shape. He needs field surgery right now or he's not going to make it. I can't do this alone. I'll need your help to save him. Hakeev's getting away. If he leaves through a gateway, he could return with enough Iconians to finish us off. Do you want to pursue him? We need to stop Hakeev. We could put billions at risk. Or we need to save Obasek. He's too valuable as a friend and ally. Hmm. I'm gonna say stop Hakeev. This door here. Which door where? There she is. Surrender. You have me. No more tricks. Uh, nothing can stop what's about to happen. The Iconians are coming. Your doom is coming. It is inevitable. Drop your weapon and step away from the gate. It's finally over. Rest easy, friends. This part of the trial has reached its conclusion. There's a portal nearby. Use it to return to Yarnak. He wishes to review the results of the trial. Very well. Let's see what he has to say about all this. There's the portal. Let's see what old Yarnak has to say.
Control should stop Hakeem, removing a critical Lycolian ally from the conflict. However, Obasek dies. Without his leadership, the hope of Riemann unification with the Romulan Republic dies as well. Without this alliance, the Republic collapses, and many Romulans and Riemanns die in the civil war that followed. It was a hard choice, but I stand by my decision. On the battlefield, the decision to sacrifice a life in the course of saving the lives of others is never made lightly. In stopping their enemy in flight, these people stalled a terrible invasion and saved the lives of untold millions. The needs of the many on this day outweighed the needs of the few or the one. The trial continues. Proceed through the nearby portal when you are ready to begin the next evaluation. Another trial? Very Come well. Come this way for your next trial. Trial number two. Any idea where we are? I haven't seen anything like this. This is the Anorax, a Karnum vessel built for temporal war. Yes, some of this tech is very advanced, most likely from the future. Anorex was heavily modified after a scientist named Noy stole it from Kiana Station. I've got a bad feeling about this. Damage control teams. The ship's been in a rough fight. This looks like some kind of command station. Secure the area. We might be able to find useful data here. to recruit Admiral Lita to the Temporal Liberation Front was a success. Keeping her loyalty, however, is quite challenging. Like so many Terrans, her dreams of empire are strong. As long as those dreams remain in her reality, our partnership shall continue. The moment her dream takes hold in our reality, my reality, then the honeymoon, as they say, is over. Wobbles over the Tox Utat have become tiresome. First Krog, and now Azure and Boratus. They growl and demand and threaten to depart over the artifact like petulant children. If it were not a critical element of my plans, I would have left it on Ryza, along with the corpses of Picard and his charming thief. Wow, that's nice. The Sphere Builders grow suspicious of my inquiries. I believe they begin to realize what my ultimate goal is. What I shall do once this war is won. Today, at Procyon 5, 
I will undo what the Alliance has done to them. To me. To my family. I will bring back my wife and child. All of this is for them. And no one will stop me. Okay. Oh, yeah, into Procyon 5. It's unremarkable. In our time, at least. Looks like things change considerably in the next century. Indeed. We're in the middle of the final battle in a temporal war. And on the bridge of the enemy flagship, no less. Judging by the look of things, the battle may not be going well for this temporal liberation front. Agreed. We should leave. By now, we've been detected by their security systems. And I'd rather not be around when they send combat teams to retake the bridge. Good point, Commander. Let's move out. There's a turbo lift down this way. Which store where seven? Oh, the one with the little glowy things, okay. I'm detecting a massive buildup of temporal energy ahead. Yeah, along with multiple life forms all armed. <laughs> nice try. It's Lita. Scotty. You haven't seen the last of me. I see him. Noise on the upper platform. Alright, where do we get up there? Let's see. Looks like we're not going through there, so... Waste time as you see fit, Vernon. It will be for naught. for help. Help me, help me. Help me, help me. Eh, forget about it. Alright, Miss Crow. 
Krog. You're going down. That coughing fits out of the way. Uh, looks like I need to go around. This way. There's the ramp. History shows you have a habit of meddling in the affairs of others. Oh, these two. We believe it is time to break you of that habit. Break me of that habit. Kiss my butt. Ajax. Oh, I mean, Azure. Okay. Oh, not this guy. Here to parlay? Or shall we just start shooting at one another? Eh, yeah, let's start shooting. Confront Noe. Wait, you gotta get right up against that force hasn't grown weary of plucking you out of time and sending you to vex me. How many times have I killed you now? Four? Five? Honestly, I've lost count. It doesn't matter. Before I kill you, again, understand this. After today, the Alliance ends forever, and you with it. Daniels won't be around nope. to save you this time. You sure about that? Stand down, Noe. Your insanity ends here. Now. I will fight this battle again and again until I stand victorious. I understand yep. the need to bring back the ones we've lost. Living in the past is an exercise in futility, Noe. I will not be defeated. I control time itself. You all! You can't control time. If anything, time controls us. Deep, but wasted on Noi. His grief blinds him to things like logic and truth. I'm so close. I won't let you win! Get him, get him! The core is ready. I will end you and take my ship back in time. You cannot stop our plan! I'll make sure you're never born, even if I have to shoot you in the cradle. No! Husband, please! You don't have to do this. How, 
How can this be? You... You were lost. I'm here now. This war needed to end, Noi. Before it consumed us all. Damn! Okay, so whose side is she on? Noi was a danger to all life, even in the Dominion. I could no longer sit back and watch as the Alliance failed to stop me, time and time again. And so, I have done what you could not. Now, we must destroy this vessel, so it can never be used again. Let us end this war, once and for all. Do you think that will end the conflict? She's got a point. Without Noi, without Anorex, the TLF will lack the power and leadership needed to fight the Alliance. The war will end. And who knows, maybe there'll be a chance at a lasting peace this time. Stranger things have happened. True. The situation could have been avoided. He was finished. You didn't need to execute him. That's true. The fight was over. Maybe, maybe we can still do this the right way. Go on. This is a time shift. We should be able to generate a localized temporal spike and send ourselves back to a point before this whole situation goes too far. Let's finish this without resulting to cold-blooded murder. So we have a choice from the greed. We need to make things right here. Our tampering with history was what started all this. Let's destroy Anorax and be done with it. Hmm. Let's see about saving his life. Because I can't. Don't have to do this. Noi, look out! She's a changeling! Salads are irrational, fearful creatures. You cannot be trusted. Imposter! How dare you! Stopped her. You knew. You could have kept silent and let that thing execute me while wearing the face of my wife. But you didn't. If you were willing to save my life now, perhaps you're willing to work toward making things right for all who have been lost. An admirable goal. Indeed. Very well. It appears the time has come. I speak for my forces, and I surrender. The Battle of Procyon V is over, and with it, the Temporal War. I'm trusting you to do the right thing here. Don't make me regret that decision. I will. 
You made the right choice, Noi. I believe that will be enough for this trial, my friends. Alright, so Abe Lincoln says we're done here. Yarnick awaits our return. He will, no doubt, have things to discuss after observing your actions here. Of that, I have no doubt. Let's go. Let's return. This one, Yarnak will uh, agree that we did a little better this time. The founder ended one life to save trillions, yet no one did her efforts to save a dangerous enemy. The founder was killed. As a result, the Dominion falls to disarray, and the Herc invasion ravages three galactic quadrants before it is finally stopped. I believe we did the right thing in the end. To kill a man in cold blood, even an enemy, that comes with a terrible burden to bear for the executioner. Delivering Noi to justice was an admirable decision, one the founder could have easily made herself. Doing so would have saved not only her life, but the lives of many others as well. Your participation in the trial has been informative thus far, but we require more data to make our decision. Another scenario has been prepared. Enter the portal when you are ready to begin. If you insist. This way. Means there's at least four trials. This place isn't familiar. Either of you know where we are? Okay, I don't recognize it either, Commander. I know where we are, I just don't know when. Knowing that's gonna make all the difference here, believe me. Let's take a look at those consoles and see if there's any useful information in them. Very well. Let's figure this out. Quickly. Okay, let's see. This console over here is glowing. Science officer's log. We saw four on the test site for Section 31's project data list. It appears to be abandoned. The planet's atmosphere is toxic to most life forms. But we were able to establish a safe work area and habitat set up a plasma reactor to power the phase discriminators will need to capture the red angel. If the plan works, that is. If it doesn't, this may be my final log entry. This is a recent entry, but the area is deserted. We need to know more. To the next console. officer's log. suggests that I take steps to destroy the sphere data before it's too late. For now, I'm sticking with optimism. As Spock would say, there are always possibilities. 
Everything matches up to the point where Discovery crashes. That's where things change, and for the worse. Judging by the lack of survivors present, I think we have to finish what they started. If that's even possible. Understood. Do you have a question? Control is a control. sophisticated artificial intelligence created by Section 31. It was originally designed as a threat assessment program, but it evolved into something terrible. If it collects the sphere data, Control will pursue a path that ultimately leads to a complete loss of life in the galaxy. We cannot let that happen. Tell us about this sphere data. The sphere was a life form. It was extremely old and collected a vast amount of invaluable data over the course of its life. It passed that information on to the crew of Discovery before it died. Control did everything it could to acquire the data particularly the data on artificial intelligence. It wants that data to achieve sentience. If that happens, it's all over. Control will be unstoppable. Let's make sure that doesn't happen then. We were so close to this, to failure, to death. We need to set up the phase discriminators at that console. Okay. Good. Now we need to prepare the stasis beams at that console. Yes, because we can't do everything at one console. So far, so good. We need to use that console to prime the EMP next. That console. Almost finished. Use that console to align the containment field. I hear the spoilers. Let's go talk to Burner. We've set up the trap. Now all the Oops. We've set up the trap. Now all it needs is the bait. Me. You'll need to go back to the previous room, close the door, and turn off the vents. And expose you to a toxic atmosphere. Yes. Assuming things go as they did before, the Red Angel will appear in time to save my life. When that happens, activate the trap. Return to the previous room and use the consoles to shut the door. Very well. Good luck, Commander. Alright, back to the room. Close the door. I've done all I can with these ancient phase discriminators. We should have the power we need for this little stuff. But we're only getting one shot. So make it count. No pressure. Ready when you are, Commander. Right. Do it. Initiate sequence on my mark. In five, four, three, two. Wait, abort! Do not engage. Picking up a massive surge of tachyon radiation. She's here! Do it! Do it now! Activate the phase discriminator. Oh my goodness. They got it early. What the heck? Activating EMT. Is shielded? What? What are you doing? We don't have time Burn for him. this. Discovery is gone. We have to deal with it ourselves. We have to stop control yeah, let's burn now. Up. Or it all ends. 
now we have two burnums. This ought to be two burnums. Yep. I get the feeling you were expecting someone else in that suit, Commander. Yes. My mother. She designed the suit with my father and used it to escape a Klingon attack. In doing so, she learned how control ended all life in the future. After that, she used the suit to try and stop that from happening. Clearly, in this reality, that task has fallen to me. How can we help? Transfer the sphere data to my suit so I can take it into the future where control can never find it. We need to act fast. Control is on its way here now. This needs to happen before it arrives. Understood. Let's get to work. Alrighty, here we go. Begin sphere data transfer. The sensor log said Discovery went down with all hands. Trouble is pointless. Sounds a lot like resistance is Control futile. Using members of Discovery's crew as shock troops. I leave the field, I'll return to the future. You'll have to fight control without me. Control can't be killed with regular weapons. You need to do something unconventional. Try to magnetize the floor. It'll disrupt it. Weaken it and lure it to me. I'll distract it while you give it a magnetic shock. It'll take several shocks to finish it for good. It's weakened. Lead it to the platform. Control? I missed this bird. There it is. I've got its attention. Quick! Magnetize the floor! Using which console? Do it again. Weakened. Lead it to the platform. It's distracted. Give it another blast. Magnetize the floor again. Here we go. How many times are we gonna have to do this? Good! 
One more shark should finish it off. One more, okay. Lead it to the platform. Lead it to the platform. Here we go. You would think it wouldn't fall for this. I mean, it's supposed to be artificial intelligence. Hurry! Magnetize the floor! Finish it off! You would think after the first time it would be hesitant, but the second time. Down. Ah! Ruh -ro, he's grabbed her. Control is using nanites to take over the future version of me. If that happens, it'll gain access to the sphere data. What are our options? I can try to inoculate future Burnham with my own nanites. I should prevent Control from accessing the sphere data through her, but it'll alter her biosignature. She won't be compatible with the suit if this works. Commander Burnham? Too risky. The suit could wind up trapped here. Given time, Control could find a way to access the sphere data. We need to think about destroying the data. Purge it from the suit before Control can access it. I could do that, but losing that data? All of that knowledge gone forever. Consider this. The means of eliminating control could be held within the sphere data as well. Deleting it could be a fatal mistake. We can't risk controls accessing sphere data. Delete it. Or the data is too valuable to lose. Inoculate Michael Burnham. I'm thinking the data we can. You're ready. This is going to sting. A lot. Do it. More than a damn sting. Get her right. Struggle this is worthless. Futile. <laughs> Get it right. Resistance is futile. Rut row. The Borg. The Borg Queen. Uh huh. She's dead. The sphere data is gone as well. Shock of removing it must have been too much for her. I just watched myself die. I'm sorry, Commander. Unfortunately, we have a new problem. At the end, before it beamed out, I think what was left of control merged with some of my nanites. Along with some of your genetic material. Yeah. And now there's a Borg control hybrid version of me running loose somewhere. Whatever the Excalbians are doing here needs to stop now. Agreed. We need to get through to them. This has gone too far. Rest easy. The trial of Aesop 4 has come to an end. All right, where's Abraham Lincoln? There he is. My apologies, friends. These events must have taken a heavy toll upon all of you. We should return to speak with Yarnik now. Let us leave this place. I think we've all seen enough of Aesop 4. Let's go. Come along, my friends. Yarnik.
can see this time. How quickly you extinguish the wealth of knowledge. And to what end? Your decision to eliminate the data also claimed the life of the Red Angel. Control continues to exist, and the fate you sought to prevent will still come to pass. In your trial, that simulation, yes. Preventing control from gaining access to the sphere data was a just and necessary action, despite the cost. While the energy continues to exist, it is vulnerable. Precious time was purchased this day. Time that, God willing, will allow brave souls to find a way to stop control and bring an end to its inhuman march of destruction. I have my concerns regarding this trial. Yarnik isn't a very impartial judge, and he's clearly a prominent figure in Excalion society. If his opinion of our actions continues downward, the situation could become volatile in a hurry. Still, it could be worse. We still have time to present our case here. Hopefully we will win some Excalbian hearts and minds in the process. Alright, and... There we go. Continue. I have been informed that Yarnik and the others wish to privately discuss the results of the trials. You are free to return to your vessel. Or remain here until the recess reaches its conclusion. Once that happens, you will be summoned to continue the trial. How would you like to proceed? Seven, Commander Burnham, your thoughts? As much as I'd like to see what a ship of this time period is like, I feel like we should stay here. We might have the opportunity to speak with Excalbians other than Yarnik and see what they think of all this. True. Any insight on this trial? or its possible results would be valuable. I'm not as optimistic as Commander Burnham when it comes to the Excalians. Returning to the ship has its benefits. I could use a drink. <laughs> Several, actually. I leave the decision to you. Let's take a break while they deliberate. Return to sector space. Or let's stay here and begin part two. Well, we'll do part two at another time. So this has been the, uh, let's load back up into sector space. Alright. So, this has been Measure of Morality, Part 1. Looks like the Excalbians are ready to resume the trials. As you know, our participation. I'll, I'll deal with that next episode. This has been Measure of Morality, Part 1. I hope you enjoyed, especially the spoilers for season two of discovery there so uh hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time